Hello fellow modelers, welcome back. In this video, we are going to look into the new model from Fine Molds. The RF4 EJ Kaizen, this kit, is a new mold. Of a very popular subject in all scales. The variant, in this example, is the Japanese Self-Defense Air Force, a hard-wing F4 EJ Kaizen. Kaizen, in Japanese means improvement. Fine Molds, released earlier this year a superb F4E early variant from the Vietnam War. Japanese license built by Mitsubishi Phantoms were all hard-wing variants with slotted stabilators. Fine Molds have on the pipeline for 2021 all hard-wing Phantom versions for United States Navy, Marines, and Air Force. That sounds like music to my ears. Great news. Then for all Phantom enthusiasts, well done Fine Molds. We had only the old Hasegawa kits, which are very difficult to find now. The kit arrived in a sturdy lid and tray box, with each sprue individually cellophane, wrapped. Fine Molds has paid attention to the smallest detail and has produced a great product, from all aspects. The instructions are a 10-page black and white A5 size booklet. The printing is of very good quality and high resolution. It was about time to start having an instruction sheet that you can understand and see what you have to do. Instead of guessing, the booklet is written in fluent Japanese, but enough English to get by. Fine molds have an innovative trick to cut the parts from the sprue. First, you cut close to the sprue. Then, you cut the plastic from the piece. In this way, you get a clean perfect cut. Construction starts with the cockpit, which has a basic tab with separate bulkheads, instrument panels, and side consoles, all with restrained raised detail, plus flying controls, and neat pair of ejection seats. Option to use color decals is provided, also. The dashboards are flat, so placing decals is easy busy. Fine Molds Phantom is the first kit on the 72nd scale that provides full length intakes. Wow! The kit is finely engraved and riveted. The tail section after the exhaust is provided in separate pieces so it can be painted and added later. That is a time saving from masking the tail section. Fine Molds have cleverly molded the kit. The top part of the fuselage is provided as a single piece. No sanding and no re-scribing the erased engraved lines and rivets. This means, you can finish construction in no time and focus on painting and weathering. Where the real fun is. No armament is provided. You will have to purchase the Fine Molds FP-39 kit, with a Japanese Air Force specialized weapons set. The reconnaissance aircraft are equipped with various recon pods and with the ALQ-131 electronic jammer. All the above is provided, and the detail is great. Keep in mind, that Japanese aircraft, usually fly unarmed, carrying only the recon pods. The canopy is crystal clear. There is a bonus here. You get a single piece canopy, if, you want to place it in a close position. And, a multi-piece canopy to pose in the open position. Someone is thinking over there. In most kits, the canopy cannot be posed in a close position. Pieces, simply, do not fit. Painting instructions are clear. All paints are from Mr. Color Range. You get two options as a gray-green camo. Enough with the instructions. Shall we check the plastic now? Can't wait. Hands on, then. The plastic is smooth, and the engraved lines are well done. The fin fits in this slot and can be painted and placed later, reducing the masking time during painting. As we said no sanding and rescribing is needed on the top of the fuselage. Wings are nicely done, although the control surfaces are molded on. This is the only con I found for this kit. The front fan of the engines and the intakes are well done. Intakes have sinks marks, but can be easily removed by sanding. Exhausts are deep enough with raised details. Huge improvement, over the Hasegawa and Revel kits. The detail is at a high level. You will only need, to purchase seating belts for the ejection seats. Wheel wells have an equal amount of detail. Fine molds have not missed a part. The tires have a bulge and the rims are on separate pieces. No masking is required either. Saving a lot of time and money.
The decal sheet is great, providing lots of group stencils. Stenciling on this scale is boring, tiring, and time-consuming. I have worked before with group stencils and the result was realistic and great. My model looked busy and I finished in no time. So, what is your overall impression? Is it a good kit? Do we recommend it? It is the best phantom on the 72nd scale. It is highly recommended to all phantom lovers. I have a custom made checklist to measure the overall kit satisfaction. For fine mold, it reaches 65.7% compared to 58.3% that Hasegawa F4B reaches. Great kit then. Happy modeling to all our followers.